The topic of my presentation is MDCT evaluation of spectrum of encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis. Encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis is an uncommon form of peritoneal inflammation which involves both the visceral and the parietal surfaces of the abdominal cavity. It is characterized by fibrous thickening of the peritoneum which causes fibrocollagenous cocoon-like encapsulation of the bowel leading to complete or partial intestinal obstruction. Causes can be broadly divided into primary or idiopathic causes and secondary causes. Secondary causes are further divided associated with peritoneal dialysis or not associated with peritoneal dialysis. CT is the imaging modality of choice and allows identification of the thickened, enhanced, abnormal peritoneal membrane and the encapsulated clumped bowel loops. In addition, CT can potentially help to identify the cause as well as its complications. The various other terms used for this condition include peritoneal fibrosis, peritoneal sclerosis, sclerotic thickening of the peritoneal membrane, sclerosing peritonitis, sclerosing obstructive peritonitis, encapsulating peritonitis, chronic encapsulating fibrous peritonitis, calcific peritonitis, abdominal cocoon, sclerosing encapsulating, uh, encapsulating peritonitis. The term encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis is considered to be the most appropriate term to describe fibrocollagenous peritoneal envelopment of the bowel as this term more accurately correlates with the morphological changes in this condition. So the aim of the study is to evaluate the spectrum of encapsulating sclerosing peritonitis on MDCT. This study was conducted in the Department of Radio Diagnosis GMC Jammu. The study included 40 patients of clinically suspected intestinal obstruction fulfilling the inclusion criteria. Non-contrast and post-contrast venous phase images were required. Oral contrast wherever required was given. Inclusion criteria. Patient who presented with intestinal obstruction who were suspected or diagnosed abdominal TB cases. Patients on long-term peritoneal shunts and patients with recurrent intestinal obstruction. So this is a case of 58 year old female patient on long term peritoneal dialysis who presented with abdominal pain and distension. Axial CCT showing loculated fluid collection as depicted by the blue arrow and parietal peritoneal thickening as depicted by the arrow head. Small bowel loops are collected centrally by the encapsulating fibrotic peritoneum and red arrow here demonstrates peritoneal dialysis catheter. The coronal and sagittal reformatted images of the same patient showing loculated fluid collection, parietal peritoneal thickening and small bowel loops collected centrally by the encapsulating fibrotic membrane. So this is another case of 40 year old man on long term peritoneal dialysis who presented with history of intermittent abdominal pain. The actual CCT shows thickened peritoneum as depicted by the red arrow encasing the bubble loops. So these are coronal and sagittal reformatted CCT images of the same patient showing bowel loop encased by the membrane. This is another case of 52 year old patient on chronic peritoneal dialysis. Actual CT images demonstrate clustered intestinal loops with surrounding thick and calcified membrane as depicted by the red arrow. This is another case of 30 year old patient with old treated abdominal TB who presented with intermittent abdominal pain. Actual and coronal reformatted images show thickened membrane as depicted by the red arrow of encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis with encasement of the small bowel loops. This is another case of a patient with known abdominal TB. Axial CCT image show the cocoon formation and serpentine appearance of the bowel loop as depicted by the blue arrow with peritoneal thickening depicted by the red arrow head suggestive of tubercular encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis. So these are the coronal and sagittal reformatted images of the same patient showing cocoon formation with peritoneal thickening. So out of 40 patients in our study, 13 had encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis as the cause for their symptoms. Rest 27 had other causes including strictures, adhesions, intersusception, perforation, incisional hernia and IBD. So out of 13 patients, 2 presented only with the abdominal pain, 2 with the abdominal distension and 1 with abdominal mass. 4 patients had abdominal pain with distension, 4 had abdominal pain with abdominal one, uh, mass, 1 was with abdominal distension and mass and 1 patient was having all 3 symptoms. 
Out of 13 patients, 9 were male and 4 were female patients. 8 had long term history of peritoneal dialysis, 4 had abdominal TB, and 1 had history of previous surgical intervention. So the CT findings, peritoneal thickening was present in all 13 cases, peritoneal enhancement in 9, peritoneal calcification in 2, conglomerated bowel loops in 9 and loculated fluid correction in 8. So the most common cause of encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis in our study was long term peritoneal dialysis followed by abdominal TB. The most common symptom was abdominal pain followed by abdominal distension and abdominal mass. The most common CT finding was peritoneal thickening followed by conglomerated bowel loops, peritoneal enhancement, loculated fluid collection and peritoneal calcification. So these were my references. Thank you.